Hi, Jeff Cote here with Pacific Yacht Systems. What we're going to be talking about next is the L15 Plus uh, Firefly battery, a 4-volt battery. 4-volt uh, battery at 450 amp hours of capacity. That's a C20 discharge rating. So that's a capacity over 20-hour discharge. Remember, with batteries, it's about the function or the speed at which you discharge a battery affects the overall capacity. So when you're looking at numbers, you always want to make sure you do apples to apples. And so when we talk about capacity, we talk about the C20 rating, capacity over a 20 hour discharge. This battery comes, can be either a two volt or a four volt, depending on how you size the jumpers. And so what's really nice about this battery is it gives you the ability of, notice the height. We're doing a lot of boats, 40, 50, 60 feet, 70 feet, where we're wanting a larger battery bank than the available floor space that we have on the boat. So that's a challenge on all boats. You know, even if you have a 70 footer or 60 footer, there's not enough space. There's just more stuff. And so what happens with these batteries, because you have that gain of height, all that capacity is also vertically in height. What that means is we can have more battery banks in less footprint on the boat. So we commonly do six of these. Um, we do some boats, we do nine, 12, depending on the permutations and what voltage we want to get. We did a big, um, about 85 footer, where we ended up putting 12 of these um, in two volt configuration for a 24 volt bank. So it was one series battery, 24 volt. Um, and the owner could actually no problem use his boat on only run his generator, generator once a day with that battery bank of that size. So this battery bank, um, compared to the Group 31 Firefly, has actually more cycles. So if you're thinking of using your boat a lot more, you're offshore cruising and you're going to be, you're going out in the sunset for years to come, this is a high contender, okay? High contender. Now, of course, all of this sort of quality comes at a higher price point than a typical flood of lead acid battery. Um, this battery is a foam-based core AGM battery. Um, and so that means that it can stay in a partial state of discharge, meaning it doesn't need to get back to 100% all the time, and it doesn't affect, it, it doesn't sulfate. Sulfation is sort of another word in the battery world as aging. So it doesn't aging, of course it does age, but it ages at a much slower rate than a typical AGM or certainly a flooded lead acid battery. If you've got more questions about the Firefly L15 Plus, reach out down below on the YouTube, post some questions, or on our website, we also have forms and you can send us, and those emails actually could come to me directly. And if I get a chance, I will also give you a response. Thanks so much and thanks for watching.